Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny. This is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Appreciate you stopping by. I had the Blackstone out again today. We're getting ready to make some burgers. I have some fantastic prime hamburgers from Matador Prime Steak. It's a beautiful looking ground meat we're gonna be making these with. And we are gonna make a jalapeno bacon cheeseburger, so stick around. Got these in the other day, been saving them for the weekend when my daughter came home, she's here today. So I'm gonna be making a uh, burger for her. Look at that right there. That is some beautiful, beautiful looking hamburger meat. Two batches of it. Let's get these seasoned up, get them ready to go on the Blackstone. Like I said, this is some beautiful looking meat. I'll tell you what, that would be a great big burger. We just went with two. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook up quarter pound patties and uh, go with that. So there's not a lot of fat in these. This usually when I do a hamburger, I like a 80-20 uh, mix. This is some beautiful looking ground meat. Like I said, I normally use a little bit more fat on a burger. I go with that 80-20, but this is 85-15. It's prime. I bet you they're gonna cook up really nice. To season these up, I'm gonna use some uh, Bowler's Fiesta brand, just fajita seasoning. I love this seasoning. It's pretty much an all-purpose seasoning for me, but give it a good coat. We see if we can turn these over. I'm going to use my spatula because, like I said, they are not packed real tight. Take those over and get them on the Blackstone. See if we can get started here. I'm going to drop on my jalapenos. You can see I've just kind of de seeded those. Slice them in half, got the seeds out. Put them on there, let them start heating up. And I'm gonna drop some slices of bacon here on the griddle. We're gonna cook up our bacon. Help these cook a little bit faster, these peppers. I'm just gonna set one of my or actually a couple of my uh, bacon presses on it. Look at our peppers, let's turn them over. Oh yeah, they're starting to cook up some. Got a little bacon fat. Let's drip a little bit of that bacon fat on those. Boy, that'll get some flavor in there with those. Cover them up again. Let's take some onions now. Drop them on. Saute those up real good. You can see I've got my peppers. They are blistered up good. They're going to be nice and toasted on here. Take these onions and kind of pick them up. them nice and tender. Pick my peppers up. Let's get those off. Move these onions over to the side. We're going to start getting our burgers on here. And I got plenty of oil just with my uh, bacon and everything on there. We're going to drop those down. And you don't want this real hot. That's a little bit of a thick burger. So if you've got this too hot, you see what's trying to come apart on me a little bit? And we want to take these up to 155 in the center. Last burger's going on. Try to keep it together. And again, not packed real tight. I think they're going to hold together there. Let them keep going. 
check my onions here. Just have this side kind of low, just a little bit. Maybe above low, medium low, but again, we don't want to go too fast. All right, let's pick up our onions. They're nice and tender. Those off. These are starting to look like they're about ready to flip. So let's see if we can. Oh yeah, got a nice little crusting going on there. That one. Still trying to come apart a little bit on me. Thought it might flip this one. There we go. All oh, those are looking pretty. Burgers are looking pretty good. I'm gonna throw some little jalapeno jack cheese on them. So they're gonna have some spice to them today. If we, not quite, let's move them a little bit closer together. There we go. Cover those for a second, we'll let that cheese melt, then we'll get them off. Those are done, let's get those off. Drop our buns down on here. Get those toasted real quick. Have a nice toasted bun for our burgers. Now, let's get these burgers together, all right? Get a little mustard on here. I always like mustard on my burgers. Got that right there. Spread it around a little bit. Nice toasted bun, always toast your bun. And it adds texture, it adds a dimension of flavor. And it keeps some of the moisture from going down into your bread also. We'll go with my lettuce. Got some beautiful green leaf lettuce on here. Go right there with it. Go ahead and drop my tomatoes on here. Patty number one. Go with our second patty. Going with a couple of slices of bacon. I can put three on this one. Right there. Some grilled onions on top of that. And then my grilled jalapenos above that. So there you go, lids on it. Now, let's see if we can slice this up. There we go. Open this burger up. Ooh, this one is wanting to fall apart. Let's give this a try. I, I don't know if I can get this all in my mouth, but we're gonna, we're gonna make a great A effort at it. Let's see here. Mm. There we have it, another fantastic burger. Cooked up great on that Blackstone griddle. I love using that griddle. If you don't have one, check it out. Remember to see down in my uh, Amazon store. I have one down there you can go look at if you're interested in them. I think they have them from 17 to 36 inches, all different types of styles now. But I have one in there. You can search for any of you want to out of the store. But a great burger, Matador Prime Steak, their ground meat prime came out fantastic. Hope you enjoyed this jalapeno bacon cheeseburger as much as I did. Uh, thanks for stopping by and we're gonna see you down the road on Texas style barbecue and cuisine.